Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video on light burn to show it. Like, you know, if you just got your laser or something and you're not quite sure, if, you know, how to send it just to make sure everything's correct. I just wanted to make a video to show, you know, how to make sure that everything's correct. The easiest way I could find is with these four S's. So if you can remember these four, then, you know, you should be good to go. Um... So the first one, shape, would be your shape or your design, your material, you know, your design basically, what you're putting into light burn. So once you've got your shape together, like this, I've just got one being filled and one on a line. The next thing's going to be your settings, which would be over here. So you can see that by the colour coding, which, you know, layer it is, or you can right click on the layer and it'll flash whatever's on that layer. And then you just want to start from the top and go down and change the settings to be correct. I mean, this is on fill, so it's an engraving. So, I mean, you want it between like a hundred to a thousand speed, or around the middle of that. So, I would say 400 speed, 18 power would be a good starting point. So, I'm just going to put that 254 lines per inch, that's a good starting point as well like just remember your air assist i don't need to put it on for this one but when you get to a line you do so but okay that one's all correct i have got it on fill all shapes at once which would start from the bottom and i mean if you put all shapes individually mine these are on a different you know i drew these out differently so it would do this and then this Sometimes it can make a big difference, but anyway, just as a simple one to send. So I've got my speed 400, my power 18, it's on fill, 254 lines per inch, that's good. Right, the next one, the line, for this one, I mean if it's around 4 millimeter material on my machine, which is a Nova 3580, what, you want it? at least the starting point is 12 speed 60 power and for this you want air assist on for most materials when you're cutting um, everything else can stay the same on this you can see number of passes if you know it was a thicker material and you needed to make more than one pass you could turn that up but one normally always does it for me and the same with the fill on the last one I just changed this to 400 18 speed, uh, 18 power. Um, air assist is going to stay off because it's etching again. Okay. And then normally you want your line to be cut out last. So always you can use these arrows to move these layers. So that would cut the line first. So just make sure your line's on the bottom. That way it can do your engraving and then it will cut your line. Well, in this case, it would cut this square out, but normally your engravings within that square, so you want to make sure you do your engravings first. So this is all correct now, so that's my settings correct. The next one, screen, that's actually preview, but if you look up the top here, that it's actually like a picture of a screen. So preview didn't fit in well with the S's. So, but yep, yeah, so preview is the next thing. So I mean, now if I click preview. It'll show me it's filling the uh, it's filling the text there and filling one box, and then it's cutting the other box. And so if you scroll through that, it'll show you how it's going to go. Okay. And then once you've got that and you're happy with how that preview or the screen looks, next thing is click send and send that over to the laser. And then I'll pick it up from over at the laser. Okay. <clears throat> so once you set, send it from your computer, like once you've had, your, once you've got your shape, your settings, your screen, and you know your preview, and you send your design. Next thing is you come over to your laser, and you're gonna press file. That will bring up whatever you called the file. You can see my last one was just named Lightburn. Find your file. 
enter because you can see now the files over here and then press frame my bed's right the way down here at the moment but I'm going to press frame when I press frame it's going to frame the area where the job is going now it's just a matter of getting your wood into the right spot and pinning it down I see. ok when I press frame you can see it's going to frame it there this piece of wood's not perfect for this really because it's I'm just going to see if I've got a smaller piece of wood yeah this piece should be big enough but even while the bed's right down you can see the little red dot so just press frame make sure you're going to get it in there it's not going to crash into anything and then <clears throat> I do have another video I'll put the link where I gave out a free file for these as you can see it's quite high up you want this as flat as possible really so you just want to poke these in wherever seems a good place to you I'm just throwing that again make sure it ain't going to go over the top yeah. now I'm going to put one up here the angle will be right over the material you just need to be touching the edge, even like that, just to pin it down. You can see now it's much more pinned down. So the next thing I'll do now is I'll focus my laser manually. So when you get your laser, it should come with something like this, like an acrylic block that's about six millimeters thick. So you just want to press the up arrow to raise the bed up until it gets close. If you go too much at a bleep, it means you've crossed the beam path there, and then you'll have to press escape and just go through that again, but I think I'm still below that, so. Then what you do is, you can either do it there, or you could just move your laser a little bit to the center of where your engraving is. Just drop it down until it touches. Now it's touching on there. I'm just gonna tighten this little bolt back up. Slide that out, you can see it's just touching it, you can hear it. Now if I frame it, I mean I could have moved it over a little bit to save a bit there but that would be good. So now on mine I have to open the window over here for the air to go out. Yours is, might already be done. So. And then the next thing is just press start let it do its thing. Okay, and you can see there, I've got quite a clean cut. I mean, yours, you can see the size of this little line, that's the size it should be. If your line's thicker than this, or it's all getting burnt, either your air assist is on low, because if you have your air assist on low, it starts to burn up and smoke a lot or you're out of focus if you're not 6mm but you know if you're not the thickness if you're not the correct thickness away that's another reason that you're going to get bad lines it should be nice and clean like these really i say I'll do mine at a 12 speed and a 60 power and that you get a little bit of charring but not a lot really I mean I can rub it across my fingers you can see there it don't give off any char so yeah, just for a first cut, and then the same thing if you've done engraved, obviously you want the engraved to go first on there, and then you cut it out afterwards, but I'm actually using this for a router template, so yeah, I just wanted to show just a simple way, you know, just simple as I could remember to get it on the laser. So just a recap, it's your shape, you've got the four S's on, on light burn, you've got your shape, your settings, your screen, which is the preview, the little screen up the top, and then send, and then it'll be on the laser. You press file, make sure the right file will shine over on the right, then press enter, and then it'll open that file up on the left, and then you just frame, make sure your piece of material is in the right place, and then press start, and you're good to go. So thanks for watching, and I'll put another video out as soon as possible.